Hello and good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the 1 through 6 of Final Fantasy Re Pixel Remastered. Today we're taking on the third campaign, Final Fantasy 3. This one is mostly going to be based off of the original NES version as far as I've heard. And this one, somewhat of a loophole for me in the Let's Play Replays scenario. I have re I have played Final Fantasy 3, but it was the Nintendo DS version of the game. Here we're playing the Pixel Remastered version, which is very close to the original NES game that was only released in Japan. So, this might be an interesting new twist for me. And this also introduces the job class system. And you can choose the name of all four of the main characters that you can be. A subtle difference between the two is, the original, all four characters do not have a name. Him. You can choose the name whatever you want, but in the DS version, all four characters have names. I don't remember what they were, but maybe because it was a very long time ago since I completed the, uh, the DS version. If there are any other things that are different from this and the Nintendo DS game, I'll point them out as we go. For now, let's just get started. Right off the bat, we'll get started with naming our four characters here. Who are in the default class, the Onion Knight. Yes, that is the name of the class that they're that you start with. Unlike in the DS version where it's the freelancer. Now, what do I want to name each of these characters? I know one of them, they're gonna be named after me. As for the other three, let's press X and see some suggested names for them. Karad, Luz, Loras. Hmm. Interesting names. Let's see. The one in blue. What do I want to name him or her? I think I'll give them all uh, suggested names. Ones that I might like. Glitz might do for green. How about blue? Robin will do for that. And now for pink. Errol should do. Let's get on with it then. Yes, that should do just fine. And for this run, I am only going to be doing one job class. And 
as you might have guessed for which one, it's gonna be the Onion Knight. Into the silence, one of the gauntlets prophesied. A great earthquake was only beginning. The tremors tore the lands asunder. The crystals, source of the light, world's light, were swallowed. Yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. Something fathomless, ominous, and laden with sorrow looms on the horizon. Four souls will be blessed with the power of light, so it shall begin. Four orphaned youths raised by Tapapa uh, in the ritual village of Ur were out on their own. They came across a cave, one of the very same that formed when the crystals were lost to the earth. What started as a simple game of exploration became so much more. Ouch! Looks like we fell through a sinkhole. What do we do now? Are you sure this is a good idea? Maybe we should climb out. You wanted to go exploring. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, quit squabbling, you two. We need to find a way out of here. And our first encounter are a bunch of goblins. What, what, what are monsters doing down here? We're in way over our heads. Let's get it out as fast as possible. I couldn't agree more. Now then. Huh? What is it? There's something strange about that rock. Now that you mention it... Yeah, there'll be plenty of secrets to encounter in this game. Especially fake walls and stuff to show hidden rooms for treasure. Yay, our job levels went up. That's a good thing. Look, a spring! Yeah, but why is it such an odd color? 
Let's take a sip. I'm not too sure about this. Wow, I feel revitalized. And that is our healing point for if you ever need to heal while leveling up in the first dungeon of this game. Which I feel we're gonna need to do for a little bit. Okay. Let's see. I got us to level 4, and I think our job class levels went up a bit too. Can't tell what they are at the moment. And I think level 4 should be high enough for us to continue on. Hopefully without taking too much damage. Ah, our job class has raised to... Seven, but for some reason Robin's job class level is up to eight. How is that possible? Everybody's been getting their job experience at the same time. Same as everybody else on regular level. I'll worry about that later. I might even think about changing their names later. Wind Crystal? What's going on? A malicious force attacks the party. The first boss of the game, a land turtle. It always helps to level up. Hmm. Only me and Glitz got our job level up to level 8. How odd. You four have been chosen. Whoa, that crystal is talking. I give unto you the last of my light, and with it, the last hope of a fading world. As things stand, light will soon disappear, and the balance of the world will be destroyed. Accept this light into your hearts. And the crystals will grant you unimaginable strength. You have been chosen to be the bearers of our final chance at hope. You cannot allow light to fade from the world. The party is enveloped in the bright light. Within the light, the will of the crystal surged through them. They decided to accept their destiny. And so began the journey to dispel the darkness and return light to the world. The young heroes received the crystal's power.
and with it, the world's last hope, light of hope. Monk, warrior, black mage, white mage, and red mage jobs now available. Step upon the magic sigil, sigil to be transported to the surface. Embrace your destinies, warrior of light. Well, that was a fun one. But I want to collect what's inside the cave before we fell into that hole. Some bracers. A long sword. Nice. So far, a good haul. That's a spell, isn't it? Sleep. And I believe there was a hidden passage in this hallway. Now to wonder about this town. Oh, that's a shop. I thought that was the inn. Because it had a bed right on there. And that's a pub. got two, so we'll buy two more. And equipped all four of them with that sword. Now some armor. And maybe a little magic if I have any money left over. Okay, now then, let's see what spells we can learn as a onion knight. Pus poisona. Removes poison. And we have one sleep spell. Get out of there. What? Random encounter inside of a town? I haven't seen that since Final Fantasy 2. See that candle all furthest to the right? It's actually a switch for a hidden door. Well, he ain't lying. Be sure to check everything for treasures. Q. 
here. Now then, let's go here. Good. We needed that. It's to Papa, the elder who raised the four orphans. To Papa, we... I know, I know. To think that you four would be chosen by the light. Soar, Robin, Glitz, and Errol. You must understand that such a meeting was no mere chance. The crystal willed you to it. Such is its power. Your souls have been touched by light. You cannot let the strength you've been granted go to waste. You must depart at once and seal away the powers of darkness. Take care on your journey. You know how I worry so. In order to understand the power you've been given, you've been granted by the crystal, you must be true to your heart. Okay, so I guess all we can do now is set off on an adventure and begin our journey to save the world, I guess, next time in Let's Replay Final Fantasy 3. I'm gonna take some time to uh, level up the party, and when I when we come back, we will continue. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment if you want, ring that bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video. This is Sword, our child, signing off. Have a good night, folks.